was that? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. I came to greet me. She was from Kenya. Yes, yes. So I wish uh, places like Kenya. You're welcome. Uh, I need to come. Yes, yes. Maybe two days crusades. <coughs> They're on top there. Yes. Many people are playing. <laughs> Kenya, Ghana. <laughs> Oh, in that side of Nigeria, I had a lot of problems. The things that people are doing now, uh, you check, uh, we are really tarnishing the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we need to change that. Always I tell people when you are a pastor, you must be faithful, mm -hmm. you must be honest. You know, because this thing does not end here when you pray. There will be a time where you, God must ask you questions. Mm -hmm. Why did you do this? Why did you do it? And all those things. So faithfulness as a pastor, it helps out. You must not travel anywhere. Okay. You hear me? Yes. Because I see you, 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 you want to prepare your passport in a visa. <laughs> okay. Mm. Don't travel any. Okay. I'm sure you're hearing me. I understand. You know what I'm saying. Yes, yes. Because to me, I see you even in the US. Yes, Canada. That was the plan. Not America. Yes. When do you want to go? I was already there. Working there for seven years. You want to go back? And that was something which I was going to do. That's why you are here. <laughs> That's one thing. <laughs> well, I'm sure I did speak with you, didn't it? No. Did we talk? No. Imagine now I'm telling him, don't go back. And he wants to go back. <laughs> did you tell anyone here? No. Do you have a friend? See how God works. And I haven't started to, to see it. <laughs> I know why you are here. One, the issue of travel. Two, <coughs> marriage. Three, business. Four, ministry. You see, well, I know you do. But I always tell our visitors there's nothing that we can do for you. Tell me Jesus who can help Jesus. Hey. In the name of Jesus. Let it enter your stomach. Let it spin around. Let the glory of the Lord be revealed. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Jesus, my tell You're free, so you're free. It's okay, guys. Jesus. 
Jesus. My name is uh, Matthew. I'm coming from Nairobi, Kenya. I'm so happy to be here and uh, I came here to meet with a, a servant of God. The reason what made me to come to Chad is because uh, God had spoken to me through a dream uh, to come and meet with a uh, dream. God had spoken to me through a dream to come and meet with the servant of God. So when I saw him on the dream, I knew there was a message for me. And that's why I planned to be here, so that I could be able to receive the message which God had planned for me. During the group, what he mentioned was that uh, he could be able to see um, what uh, one of the things which God was speaking to me, or speaking to him already about me, was about uh, the ministry where to start the ministry and he also talked about how um, there are many things happening in my country uh, which needs to be addressed by having um, pastors or leaders or church leaders who have integrity into the ministry so that Jesus can be um, can be demonstrated or Jesus can be shown and can be revealed to the people, not people doing funny things. So that's what he's, he just spoke a little bit about that, uh, what God is going to do uh, across my country and that Jesus is going to be revealed in that country. Yeah, so during the one-on-one, -on -one, uh, he was able to tell me about things about uh, a business. Uh, we talked about business because I've been doing business. Uh, some of it have been very successful, others have failed a lot. And uh, those which have failed, especially in agribusiness, uh, he mentioned that that's the time now to start, that I need to go back again and be able to start them and be able to grow them. He also talked about my family uh, because um, um, my wife, my children, because we had uh, some problems, especially with my children, and uh, there was a, an attack one of my child and thus he, he was able to narrow it down and speak about it and also pray about it so mostly that was a, we spent a lot of time discussing around the child and the, the sickness which was attacking uh, my boy who is not spe able to speak but he said that god has already touched him and is going to start speaking because he's old enough but he, he has been affected mentally for him not to be able to speak but uh, he said that god is going to He's already solved it and is going to start uh, speaking. So that's what kind of what we sp spend most most of the time talking about. The other thing, um, the other thing he said, the the other things about uh, the prophetic, which he said that uh, um, uh, apostle is going to be able to pray for me tomorrow. So these are he said that some of the things is going to handle some of them and others will be handled by tomorrow. Then uh, something else also what he mentioned about was also the, about the ministry. Uh, whereby the ministry, uh, the my ministry will start in Kenya, but it will spread across many countries. That was also something which you also mentioned that at the beast starting a very small, but it will be able to grow into different countries around the world. So that's going to be something which is uh, exciting, and I'm excited about it. And as he said, when he was praying, he saw, he saw a light, a light coming towards me and that the light of Christ. So I'm really happy about that. After 101, I feel uh, I'm uh, happy. Of course, I'm still uh, under the, <laughs> the power anointing, but uh, I'm, I feel very happy. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, I would say that uh, 101 is very important uh, for anyone who wants to be able to get some clarity uh, to hear the mind of God. This is the right place to be able to hear the mind of God exactly directly on what uh, you're doing, especially in the ministry, but also about other things about life. So you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle, one-on-one. -on -one. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, so this morning I had an opportunity to meet up with the Apostle and it was a wonderful time because uh, the reason why I came with that was uh, because I saw Apostle in the, in the dream and uh, I asked God if uh, to confirm, then he confirmed it a second 
uh, dream. So I came and we had a wonderful time uh, where he was speaking about my ministry, mostly about my family and also ministry, that the God is going to, this is the time for me to start the ministry. So he was just confirming to say that this is the time that I need to be able to move forward and I can be able to start the ministry, which is going to be starting from my home country, going to other different countries. So we had, and then number two, he also talked about my family. That my there are things which have been tying uh, myself and my family, but it, all those are broken, and all those are you know family ties and all these covenants, but they are broken because they have been raising up so that they can delay me in the ministry and to be able to start the ministry. So that's kind of most what we focus on, and then after that he prayed for me. Yes. And so, how do you feel after your one-on-one -on -one session with both the apostle and prophet Andres? Mm. After the one-on-one, -on -one, I, s I would say that uh, I feel very happy, number one, and uh, number two, very blessed, because God's mercy, you know, located me. Uh, I've been so much blessed of what God has been doing through the apostle and also the prophet, to be able to have one-on-one. -on -one. I feel so much blessed this evening. Yes.